Good morning, everyone. I am Kusum Dikshit from CIA Global Venture LLP. Today, in the initiative of Women Empowerment, we are interviewing Ms. Tanuja Chandra for series of Women of Substance. She has been a graduate from IIT Madras and MBA from IIM Calcutta. She has corporate experience of seven years in consulting corporate IT, and she has been a promoter and entrepreneur for last 15 years. She has owned franchisee from time who has been training the CAP students and the competitive exams also. Uh, while guiding students for MBA at interview stage have had 100% success rate multiple times. She has been a success and she is with us today. So please join us to have some insights and to encourage yourself to pursue a career in education industry. Meanwhile, I want to give some idea about these exams, like what is the percentage of the girls getting the success ratio. As we talk about the CAT exams, which is for MBA, 35% of the girls are getting successful out of 2.3 lakhs candidate. We talk about GEE, that is around 6707 girls are getting successful out of 43,207 qualified candidates. GMAT, we talk about the percentage of girls getting successful are 32% and 26% girls getting enrolled in engineering field. So let's welcome Ms. Tanuja Chandra. Uh, she's with us. Please uh, welcome her for the series. Thank you. Hi, ma'am. Please welcome. Hi. Hi. Hi, Kusum. How are you? I'm perfectly fine, ma'am. Good, good. It's a pleasure to be here and a pleasure to be talking to a young, bright girl like you. I'm sure uh, you've been doing a great job and uh, engaging a lot of people yourself. Uh, so yeah, it's a pleasure to be here. Yeah, ma'am, it, it has been a pleasure to me. Uh, for the audience, I want to tell that I've started my career with ma'am and she has been an in inspiration throughout my life. And I always look forward to her, like what she's doing. She's going to make a mark somewhere. She has already made a mark. And now still I'm hopeful that she's going to do something great for women. So please, let's have some insights from her. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Sure. My pleasure. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, uh, let's start with a few questions what our audience have already given us. We will start with uh, how you find situation of women since when you started career. Uh, so I would think a lot has changed, uh, though, I mean, there's always a scope for further improvement. Uh, so when I joined IIT, for instance, about 286, we were only six girls and I was the only girl in my, uh, in my branch. So four years, you know, I've been, I sat in the classes all, all alone. I had to do my projects alone. <laughs> I had to manage everything on my own. And, uh, you know, especially when the girls hostel is on one side, the boys hostel is on side. Uh, and a lot of professors just looked at you and said, hey, you, you've taken away somebody's seat, maybe a boy's seat, <laughs> you know. So from that time to now, when there are quite a few girls in IIT, I think things have changed a lot. Um, my secret desire uh, when I was studying at IIT, uh, you know, so in my branch, we were 30 uh, students and I was the only girl. And I would say that I would wait for that day when there are 30 girls in the batch and there's one boy. So yeah, I'm leaving for that dream. <laughs> That's amazing, ma'am. But still you think uh, there's a lot of gap between the girls. There is, there is definitely a lot of improvement already. There is already improvement, but yes, there's scope for more. There are more bright girls around who could. And, and I think a lot of it has to start from home. You know, how parents train their daughters. The initial uh, few years till the, uh, you know, till that daughter, your sister is at home doing her school. At that time, you need a lot of encouragement. You need a lot of support. After that, I think girls are good to be on their own. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. So let's come to the second question. What difference you notice for women in your area of expertise and opportunities available to them, particularly in India? Okay, so I could talk of um, <clears throat> two things that I have really worked on. So I've been a person of IT in, in the initial years of my work. Um, so in IT, there are many, many girls, a lot of girls are there and uh, they're doing good. They're really doing good. Um, more and more girls are taking up senior positions, which is very, very important. They're taking, um, you know, positions where they are uh, contributing to the decision making of the organization, you know, which is something which was missing, let's say, a few years back. 
but uh, the women uh, who have good knowledge who have continued to work and take care of their family they they are contributing uh, to the whole uh, thing uh, on the other side which is uh, being an entrepreneur taking care of the business side i guess more more needs to be done there you know um, that's something which is a lot more demanding than a job is uh, so maybe that's something which holds people back but uh, yeah for taking up entrepreneurship however small it may be uh, that's something which uh, we need to look at if you look at uh, you know the um, the smaller uh, businesses very very small businesses in smaller towns smaller um, cities of uh, our country you see women working you know there are people who are running their chai shop there are women who are running uh, so they are also entrepreneurs in their own right and they are contributing and a lot of them are doing a good job they're taking care of their family they're taking care of themselves so they're they're all the uh, you know heroes that we have there so yeah so th- that way i think we are pretty good i'm as you are from uh, education industry particularly so do you think we need to train the boys from school level because i think there is a gap in our homes where we we do not train boys to do the same chorus what girls are you know doing uh we train the girls that you have to go to a different house tomorrow you have to handle this you have to handle work because work because you want to do it it's not a mandatory thing but if you want to do it you have to do it with the household things so when you see there is uh, so much of uh, awareness will come where your partner will understand that she is equal to me she is not only the one who will be responsible for house for family and for other responsibilities you both are partners you should share it 50 50 so do you think this kind of a education should start in school level itself then only the uh, the the scenario will improve in india it definitely should definitely should and uh, as i said the initial training what we get as uh, children uh, back at home has a big impact on how your life unfolds so the boys definitely need to understand that women are there for uh, you know they are equally um, capable they are equally intelligent and they can handle work and uh, they should be looking at them from uh, you know from equality point of view there they should be trained also to take care of uh, you know the house when it comes to taking care of the responsibilities back at home that uh, because that kind of support you uh, you need uh, when you want to be successful in running a business and if you really look at uh, women who have made a big impact uh, in their uh, in their careers there's been a huge support which has come from their uh, family when it, whether it's their husband or their in-laws whoever uh, there's a big uh, support that's coming in so that's that's a very very important uh, part and it's not just true for the women that we need that support the men also need that support men also are able to go and make a big impact because they don't you know a lot of time they're not worried about what's going to be there for dinner and uh, who is going to get the vegetables you know so that kind of support is there so if that same support a woman is getting uh, it would definitely help it would help a lot so in short we can say uh, we have been trained like that we have been raised like that that you have to do that to support a man but if we talk about uh, as you have talked about uh, impactful women who have made it to various heights they have always have a supportive family supportive uh, spouse so in short we can say if you do not have that supportive family or spouse it's really very difficult so what what kind of choice See, it's difficult make it's difficult but i don't think it's impossible um so but like when i started out uh, when i went to sign the agreement uh, with time my daughter was 3 months old and uh, i did not really have a support back at home uh, my mother just before my daughter was born had a paralysis attack so you know she was not physically in a position to help me my i did not have my mother in law so in that sense it was, we were a nuclear family with me my husband and whatever little support uh, system i had back in delhi 
and i came to gurgaon with all that also 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 gone you know in terms of having a full time support a driver it was all gone so there were days when i have you know carried an infant in my lap and drove to work um so as i'm saying it's difficult but it's not impossible you know and uh, when she was very small she needed me i was a new mother um i had no clue how to raise a child i did not really have a support who would guide me also uh, as to what i need to do i was a new business woman so again you know you're trying to figure out what to do how to do and all that um but it happened um what is important is that i also had a good mentor in terms of my business so there was a lot of support uh, that i got from the mentor uh, uh, so you should not shy away from taking help wherever you can get that's that's how you have to keep on going uh, important is to just keep moving that's very important not to stop yeah that's fair you should have that zeal to always keep going that we can say All right very 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 important <laughs> that's fair ma'am uh, it means uh, the woman has to be uh, tough enough to stick to the decision what they are going to take and what they have already taken then only they can succeed in whatever circumstances yes yeah yes then we can talk about uh, what differences equality brings to society and workplaces a huge difference huge difference uh, you know uh, the first very important part is the crime against women wherever you have uh, that inequality is larger you see the crime against women is also much larger wherever you know in our own country wherever we see that the, where the number of women are working Uh, it need not be just going to corporate uh, you know if, even if they're just stepping out of their homes a lot many women are stepping out of their homes and working crime rate against women is so much under control so it's it's hence very important for uh, women to be treated equally very very important yeah yes ma'am in even uh, this crime rate we are talking about women who are coming up who are complaining about these crimes who are not complaining that is still hidden so we don't even know that how many numbers and how many women are suffering in whatever area and what all crimes are being done with them right right so i think uh, you know people then uh, get used to women when they get used to seeing so many women outside and they know that uh, this is how life is going to be i hope you know crime is is much less and it's not just about you know women being attacked there are so many other crimes you know you uh, there are especially smaller towns there be things uh, of dowry there are you know wife beating etc etc there are so many crimes that uh, women Various have to face it's not just are going on right so that awareness that education should help in uh, curbing the crime against women yes ma'am this is a really very important agenda and area to understand for women also and for men also and government uh, may be doing something for this next thing is what's your message to aspiring young women for career and budding entrepreneurs okay so for girls i think very very uh, simple message is that you are capable you are strong go ahead do it you know just you can just anything you want to do under the sun just anything so just uh, don't don't hold yourself back go ahead uh, make that difference don't don't hold yourself back uh, because of some fear or the other that you may have um, when i used to teach i would see a lot of girls in the class were so terrified of mathematics they were just so terrified uh, maybe because you know through their school they have been told uh, maths is not your cup of tea but uh, that's not quite true you know uh, so th- so there are a lot of these fears uh, that have been uh, drilled into you know into our minds as young girls or school going girls so we very important to break break those fears and uh, only only you can do it you know you as the young girl only you can do it and uh, for for us in india i think we are fortunate there are so many women who are making a big difference you know as i said earlier whether it's that lady selling chai around the corner or uh, you know we are talking of indra nui or you know just anybody there is there is 
there is a whole pithora of successful women out there uh, we can look at just anybody uh, for you know any time you are feeling uh, the need of inspiration you can look at just anybody around you but don't stop don't hold yourself back very very important yeah the ma'am ma'am the agenda to have this series is this only because yes we understand uh, Indra Noe is doing very well. Other women out there are doing very well, but still, we need relatable stories where we can actually relate. We have seen those women as yes, uh, studying those things and don't know what support system they were having and other things they they had. Uh, you know, while they're growing, the kind of mentors they were having. Every woman is not having the same advantage, the same things available to them. So that's why we are looking for relatable stories where they can see that yes, I have seen this woman doing. I can also do it. she was uh, having the similar circumstances what i was having what i am having what she must have gone similar problems what i am facing today so that's why uh, we are giving them a thing to relate where they can really feel that inspiration that it is not hard it's just your zeal and strength and sticking to the idea and you can do it very true very true very true you know there are so many times when i have felt um, being under pressure and um, i've you know i've just not really even spoken to them but you know i would just look around and look at uh, women in my own family and look at okay you know she's been doing it for so many years what's my problem i can also do it you know and you say okay yeah okay yeah so i can do it i can go ahead with it you know there are so many times when i was in real real tough situation and i would think back okay what did my father do when he was having problems with his uh, you know uh, in his work and i said yeah i have same genes i have that same blood i can do it you know so you just move on uh, so the thoughts would come in but it's important to you know brush them aside and keep moving that's amazing ma'am ma'am uh, can you tell us one or two major incidences where you have pushed yourself a lot to pursue the career and your entrepreneurship journey where you felt that no now i should not go ahead but you actually pushed yourself a lot okay um, i mean there would be many instances uh, like that to some uh, you know because uh, you keep having them uh, but okay so there are two things which i could really talk about one is slightly more old uh, so when i started working uh, you know after my mba and i joined this uh, company as their it head mm, in the name of it uh, there was absolutely nothing they were uh, really living in stone age so from there in about four and a half years that i worked we had got on to a place where uh, you know we were uh, we were actually uh, uh, selling on internet so that transformation was huge and uh, so to get the people your own team to believe in you and support you um was very very important and you know i had to kind of keep proving that i know my stuff so there were there were times when i would go under the table to fix up the wires you know i would not shy away from that so, you know just to tell them that i know <laughs> what i'm talking about so that that was uh, you know that was one uh, uh, time when i fought uh, in that sense uh, again uh, my uh, supervisor my boss was a big supporter he understood uh, the value that i brought in and uh, so that support from him was always uh, you know good going uh, system for me all right and uh, <clears throat> then as an entrepreneur i faced a lot of lot of challenges so initially when i started and we started doing well a uh, competition around would do funny things you know so there are <laughs> other people in the area who would we uh, were doing some i mean if you really look at look at it now i feel it was such childish things and i remember sending out a message to this competitor saying if you want to fight fight like a man don't do all these funny things yeah and, uh, that's very important man <laughs> yes uh, men do things and uh, they shy off of actually coming out clear we women are strong enough to tell them if you want to fight come in front and be a real man that is the message everyone should have right so yeah so i <laughs> i gave out that message also and uh, then uh, you know during my entrepreneur journey i uh, i was also diagnosed with uh, cancer in the uterus and i had to undergo an immediate surgery 
um, it so happened that the surgery had to be uh, at a time when we were in the peak of our uh, business cycle. But then, uh, you know, at this time, business really had to take a back seat and I went in for my surgery. Um, my doctors had put me on a three month complete bed rest. But 45 days, I was in the institute, I was taking a class. So, yeah, I said, I, I believe in defying the things and I would do it. I had a great team uh, of you know, the people who worked with me and they supported me beautifully during that time, uh, taking care of the students and the business as such. So, ma'am, uh, we t- as we've all talked about various kind of harassments, what women face, maybe in work, at home. So, these are also kind of hurdles for their growth, for understanding whether they should go for it or is the decision right or not. So what what you suggest, and one thing is very uh, prominent these days is depression. Like women are facing a lot of depression and some are talking about it, some are not talking about it, some are taking some medical help, some are not taking some medical help. But what do you suggest? What How to first of all understand what is happening with you and what are the things you should start with? How to identify whether uh, this is a stage, uh, you know, uh, is something you should keep going or you should change your line or uh, these are not the people to deal with. Like, what is that? Because sometimes it's very confusing to understand and to talk about also with anyone. Right. Uh, so, um, as a as lot of, I mean, you know, as it would happen with life, there are no... Uh, ready-made answers which can really fit into all these situations. So it, it, things would depend from uh, a situation to the other situation. What is important is for a woman to understand what is her passion. So if she's in the field of her passion, uh, where her skills lie, where her competency lies, then she would overcome any kind of hurdle that comes her way. Okay, so that's that's very important to understand that am I really passionate about what I'm doing? If I'm passionate, you know, I can take care of uh, situations. Uh, second would be, it's always good to have people with whom you can talk. So if it's feasible, find a mentor. Have a mentor uh, who can be your guide, who can help you. A lot of times to the mentor, you're not really talking about the real, real issues. But if you're just talking about, you know, having a general chit chat, that could also help. So have people with whom you can talk, with whom you can, you know, just unwind. A lot of times just unwinding keeps you going. So you don't really all the time need to uh, be uh, talking about problems and their solutions. A lot of solutions you get, you find it yourself. You know it. You do know it. You know, you it's just that it's somewhere down hidden and you're not taking, uh, you're not listening to your own inner voice. So if you would uh, have some people with whom you can just talk, you would, you would be able to find the solution. Um, if, if the situation is like really, really bad, uh, that's when you would need to take a call of whether you want to continue with the same set of people or you want to change, work on the, in the same field, but maybe find some other people who understand or appreciate your talent better and just move on with them you know why do you have to uh, torture yourself uh, to just you know stick on to the same thing you if i'm good in a wrong i know tree. there is no need to right. put yourself in a wrong territory right absolutely absolutely no you know so if i'm good i'm good i don't need to prove it to anybody i need to know it to myself that's that's most important thing all the insights were very, very amazing. And uh, I think it's going to help a lot of women out there. But one last thing we can talk about is as you have taken a pause and uh, you have been always willing to help women in coming future also. So what do you think? Where are you going to do that? How are you going to do that? Okay. So, yeah, I consciously decided to uh, take a pause um, just enjoy life, um, spend time with myself, spend time in nature and um, just become a better version of myself, (laughs) you know, uh, and spending time with nature uh, definitely has helped in great deal because, you know, uh, though I guess I was always a much, uh, I mean, I was a person who was much under control 
of my own emotions uh, being in nature has further uh, strengthened that um, part of me as for um, what would i like to do with uh, you know for women uh, there is a dream i would say where i want to help women at more grassroots level to you know train them uh, in simple things but something which would make them financially independent and uh, give them some thing more than just uh, you know taking care of the household especially you know during the pandemic season we've seen there have been so many uh, problems that people have faced uh, maybe you know at the grassroots level and very very important to help them uh, helping with money is like you know it's a one time help you can give but training them uh, giving them skills with which they can continue to work for a much longer time is what i would like to do you know but as i said it's still a dream i have not really uh, worked on it but that's something i would want to do i would want to do something in future yeah that is amazing again i will say so till the time women like you are there in uh, the world women are going to progress for sure we keep on looking for your guidance and thank you for this session we are grateful you are there today for this particular inspiring session for women thank you very much thank you ma'am thank you thank you so much kusum and all the best to you and to your team i'm sure uh, i mean all the good work that you people are doing it would do great to the women folk out there all the best thank you thanks a lot ma'am thank you